moving out to left field now, uh, we have a new a new free agent, Nori Aoki, who was brought in from the Giants. And uh, actually, if you go back in the history to a year ago, to around this time on SeattleSportsUnion.com, you'll find an article from me <laughs> suggesting we sign him last year. He was he was, he was very prescient. <laughs> but uh, I was a year ahead, obviously. Uh, so what do you think about Nori Aoki? Oh, he's, he was a solid pickup. He was a bargain for the price they oh. got him. Um, I, he, he was hurt a lot of the year last year. He broke his leg. Yeah. Um, so he might average to above average defense out in left field. He's really good. At, he, he's really good at getting on base. He hit 290 last year, mm-hmm. like well above average hitter. Uh, it's just a really good solid pickup, and he's going to be uh, every day out and left, and he's he can run down fly balls. He can do all the things that... <laughs> Frankly, um, see how Mariners outfielders haven't been able to do the last couple of years. So. Yeah, as we were, as we were talking uh, before the show began, uh, to draw a comparison to a former Mariner, he's a Randy Wynn kind of kind of yeah. player. You know, yeah. reliable. He'll cover you in left field. He'll hit for average. He'll, he might steal a little bit. He'll hit a few dingers, but not mm-hmm. too too many. Uh, just a reliable contributor, and and we look forward to seeing him in Good left tool field. Type of hitter. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, center field was our uh, our probably our biggest and um, the acquisition I'm most excited about. Uh, Leo is Martin from uh, the Texas Rangers. Mm -hmm. Uh, We cost us... uh a fair bit uh, when, it, when it finally came out, but uh, what, do you, what do you think about uh, him? Well, I, I think he's he's an improvement over Austin Jackson. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's the long-term solution in center so field. Kind of a bridge. I think he's a bit of a bridge. I don't know what the long-term answer is yet. I mean, they did go and get Boot Powell in yeah. the offseason. I have a, a, a good prospect, um, but I think it's either going to be him or it's going to be someone else down the line that's going to be the actual long-term answer in center field, I think. So we're not looking at another Mike Cameron, unfortunately? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, that's that's disappointing, but uh, I I actually have high hopes for him. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a real a real fielder in center field. <laughs> Austin Jackson just I mean he was not as good as last year as he had been earlier in his career. He just wasn't playing with full well, intensity. I, I will say this about Martin: he can definitely run things down yeah, out there, and he's a, absolutely yeah, he's, his defense is very solid. So. Uh, okay, we're going to move on now. Over to right field, we have Seth Smith still around, of course, and he's going to be platooning with uh, Franklin Gutierrez. Well, we saw we saw well, both of them really last year. I mean, Goody played a lot more left left field last year, mm-hmm. but Seth Smith I mean, in basically platooning with Cruz out in right field yeah. last year was terrific, and I see no reason why that won't continue. Um, Goody... I, I, his question is, of course, health. Um, can he hold up? And I think as long as they keep using him in a platoon role mm-hmm. as a fourth outfielder, fourth he plays outfield, three, yeah, defensive four, replacement. Plays three to four days a week. It seems like it worked last year. I see no reason to think that won't be fine. Best best fourth outfielder out there in the yeah, game, oh, honestly, yeah. <laughs> because he's he's terrific when he's in there. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, he, yeah, he played part-time. He still hit like 270 mm-hmm. and like With 10 dingers. Yep. And yeah, I mean, they, he was doing very well for us. I, I, do, I do think I like this platoon uh i think seth smith is a very good uh and hopefully this manager knows how to manage pl- platoons last year justin reggiano for some reason never Who? even got <laughs> yeah and he crushes when he plays and in the right split and he went on to other teams and continued to crush but we cut him for who knows why and hopefully this management knows how to knows how to work it we'll find out mm-hmm. stay tuned i guess so then uh <laughs> we'll move on now of course dh well, uh uh, which that? should be Nelson Cruz. Oh, yeah, it should in, be. Hopefully in theory. it will be. So here's the question about Nelson Cruz. <laughs> so last year, when he was in the field, he was Babe Ruth, essentially, when he oh, played he out in right field. Out of he, his mind. Out of, completely out of his mind. He's, he had a WRC+, plus, which is this offensive metric of, of 196, which is, like, unheard of. Uh when he was DHing, not as good. He was above average, but he was well, he was in line with his career numbers essentially. Mm-hmm. But I, it was 116, and it was was solid, but not nearly as good. So it seemed like, especially last year, he liked things better in the field. Now that said, I I kind of expect some regression out of him anyway. He's what, yeah. 37. He's going to come back to the mean. Yeah. Yeah, and so he's not going to put up the numbers like he did last no. year. You saw it even in the second half. He wasn't as good as he was in the first half last year. Uh, so I think keeping him a DH is probably the right idea because he's frankly atrocious and on defense. But uh, that said, he does he he seemed to like hitting there last year, and it's a big question mark. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's really, you know, a question of, of can he handle, can he make the transition, mm-hmm. um, you know, and will he keep his mouth shut? Mm-hmm.